it's back to school time and that means back to school photos. I want to create a layout of these photos of my daughter in her student body officer sweater and the thing about back to school photos or things like this or sports photos or graduation photos is a lot of times you can't find supplies in the colors of your school and so I thought it would be fun today to use the scrapbooking cards today magazine dies to create a layout with my daughter's school color scheme. So here she is in seventh grade. She's sporting her student body government sweater. I love this chevron die that's available in the shop. It comes with all these different sizes of chevrons that cut out in one pass. Some of them have stitching detail, some, and they're all different widths. So we're gonna have fun creating some patterns with the colors today. I also thought it would be fun to incorporate these star stamps and dies that are also available in the shop. And then I might possibly use one of the dies, either hello or smile as part of my title. So I've pulled out some cardstock colors that go with my daughter's school color scheme. I have the Simple Stories Color Vibe cardstock in navy, uh, white, gray, and sky. So I have those along with some scraps off to the side of the same colors. And then I also found this grid paper in the Die Cuts with a View Humble Abode paper pad. So I think this will really be really good too because it has that grid feature on there which is a nod to back to school. So let's go ahead and speed things up. I'll just narrate as I go and let's get this started. I decided to use the light blue grid paper from the die cuts with a view paper pad as the base of my layout. I'm then, I am then going to map my four photos on the navy cardstock and cluster them together towards the right side of the page. Next I'm going to take the layered chevron die and I'm going to cut out uh, several pieces using the gray, the white, the navy, and the sky color vibe cardstocks. Now on one side of the color vibe cardstock it is solid and then on the other side there's this tonal Swiss dot pattern which I absolutely love. So I'm alternating just depending on how I can fit the die onto the scraps that I have and I've just piled these off to the side. Now I did cut a piece of 3 inch white cardstock to use as a base just to line all of these pieces up. And I want this stripe that's going to go on the right side of my page mostly white. So I'm alternating the colors, uh, the accent colors with white every other one. So you'll see me go light blue, white, gray, white, navy white so you get the picture and you can see there that's what I'm doing. Now what I love about this die is that you could actually layer the smaller strips on top of the larger strips and create a dimensional look but for my page I ought to just to line them all up together. I'm going to trim off the excess on either end and then I do take this over to my guillotine we are makers trimmer to just uh, clean up both edges. I did line them up against that cardstock strip as best as I could but I did want a cleaner edge. So here I'm going to have this strip with mostly white on the right hand side, but it, I decided to go back and create another stripe using mostly gray with the idea that I would do sort of an offset stripe next to or to the left of that first strip that I created. So I'm still using the pieces that I die cut before and instead of alternating white every other one, I'm going to use mostly gray. So here I'll just go ahead and repeat the same process as I did earlier and you can see that how I'm using mostly gray on this piece. Now most of this piece will end up being covered up but I still like the contrast or the uh, dissonance that it adds to the page. After I get it all adhered together I do the same thing that I did before and I take it over to my guillotine trimmer and I clean up both the left and right edges. At this point they are the same width but you can see there that I've trimmed it down slightly and how these strips look next to each other. Now uh, I did grab some of the Color Vibe Woods paper that has this white grid on one side and I'm going to use that as another strip to the left of both of my striped strips. I've also added strips of navy cardstock around each piece of the papers just to punctuate them and make the layers feel really nice and defined. So I've decided to use the word die that says smile as my title. I think that's an appropriate word to use on the first day of school. And now you can see here I'm just laying out the stars to decide about where I want them on my page. I went ahead and die cut this title out of the navy and gray cardstocks and I'm just layering them together using some Artiste glue by scrapbook.com. I love this glue. I also want to give a shout out about all the different word dies that are available in the Scrapbook and Cards Today shop because they 
They are so much fun to use for titles like I am today on this layout, but they're also great for card making as well. So be sure to check out all the different options. Next up, I'm going to use the layered stars a stamp and die set to create some embellishments for my page. I love all the different stars in this kit. You have pattern stars, solid stars, and what I really love is that the dies layer up together so well. All the different sizes of the stars are about 1 16th inch apart, and so you can get some really fun effects with this die set. I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare my background, and what I thought I might do is add this distress ink in Lost Shadow to the background background just defining the edges of the uh, where my photos and the other elements were going to lay on this grid paper. Now the at first I brushed it on with a brush but it wasn't showing up because the lost shadow is quite a light color so I decided to do the packaging technique and just rub that distress ink on some packaging and then dripped it with uh, spritzed it with some water and dripped it onto my page. While it dried I went ahead and die cut all of the stars that I had stamped earlier uh, off camera so they're all ready to go and I've gone ahead and started Started to lay them out on my page, layering up the different patterns and pieces to create my own star embellishments. I love the star shape because this is perfect for sports photos, it's perfect for graduation, it's perfect for all kinds of things. You can use this for Disney vacations, they're very versatile. So I love that you can stamp them in whatever color that you'd like and if you don't like to stamp you can even just use the dies on their own without doing any stamping. So now that I have this cascade of stars going across my page, I've come back and I'm going to add some clear gems as accents. I've added some medium clear gems to the larger layer stars and now I'm coming back with some tiny gems and just interspersing them in the little spaces in between just to fill things in and make it feel nice and connected. Now in addition to the stars on the stamp set, you also have several phrases and you can see that I fussy cut one out there that says you are wonderful to go along with my title. and I really really like how that looks. The last thing I did on this page was create some journaling strips on my computer and a typewriter font which also ties back to the school theme. So I hope you'll check out the SET shop and take a look at all of the fun exclusives that are available there. Again, I've used the layered chevron die, the smile die, and the layered stars stamp and die set to create this layout. It was really fun to customize this page with my own colors and I hope that you'll give it a try. My name is Janet Eubank for Scrapbook and Cards Today magazine. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.